can see like the progression. These were like the first ones and then the last one. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another studio vlog. I figured I would show you a new angle from my studio because I haven't done a studio tour yet, so here's a little sneak peek. I promise I will do that soon. I just did a video on a tour of this packing area over here, so I didn't want to do a video of the packing area and then, you know, back to back just to studio tours, so I'll do that in a few weeks. But during my social media break, I picked up a new hobby. I mentioned in one of my videos that I was going to take a pottery class, so that pottery class started last month I'm about to be in week five of the class and I am loving it so far I really craved being able to be super hands-on with something and and you know when you're working with pottery you're literally working with mud and forming it yourself and it's like a very hands-on like sensory spiritual type of thing and I don't know I really like it and I like that you can turn like a little ball of clay into like a mug or a planter or something that you can incorporate into your daily life. So Nick saw how much I was enjoying my pottery classes and making stuff so he decided to buy me an early birthday present and he got me my own pottery wheel so that I can make some mugs or throw things at home which I can then take to the ceramic studio. So once I get better at it <laughs> and get more practice in and figure out my style I hope to be able to include pottery into my shop. I'll probably try to incorporate fun phrases similar to like the sublimated mugs onto the mugs but I also want to do more like just color and different styles you know things that I like that don't necessarily have words on them or don't fit into the potty mouth brand so I don't know if I should just start a completely new brand. I have no idea what I would call it. Nick thinks I should just call it Tana Makes Pottery, but <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's so simple, but it fits with my YouTube name, so it's not bad. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas. But I wanted to show you a few of my first pieces that I made because I'm super proud of them. And I shared them on Instagram, so if you follow me there, then you've seen them already. But. I'm mostly making mugs just because I, I'm obsessed with mugs. They came out a little smaller than I expected because apparently stuff shrinks in the kiln and I didn't really know that. So they're like eight or nine ounce mugs, which are kind of small, but I guess it's good for like a cup of tea. But here's my first one. So in the class, you get to pick what type of clay you want to use. And I wanted to use this brown speckled clay. And after I made this mug, I glazed it in a studio white color with a raspberry on top so this one came out super nice although they came out small I'm really impressed with the form of the mugs like not to toot my own horn but <laughs> this is like nicer than some mugs that I've purchased from potters like it came out so symmetrical and centered and the handles really nice so I'm super proud of myself for only being like a month in and being able to get them this nice. But here's another one where I did the raspberry on the bottom and then the studio white on top and then it has raspberry inside. And then I realized that I really like the color of the clay itself so I wanted to show it more on a mug so I left this part bare, did studio white and then raspberry on top again. And this was a little rookie move because this clay is pretty textured, but usually potters will glaze the entire handle just so that it's smooth to the touch. So I'll fix that in future mugs. And then this one's just a mini planter that doesn't have a drainage hole, so I'll probably use it for like a cactus or succulents or put little rocks at the bottom. But I love this glaze and a lot of people uh, reacted to this one on my Instagram, but it's a studio white with sage on top and then I dipped it again in sage So it kind of created this gradient effect and 
I'm definitely gonna make more with this, like some mugs with this glaze combo. And what's funny is, if you know what my business cards look like or my logo, it's kind of like a minty color and a purpley magenta color. And it wasn't on purpose at all, but I ended up choosing the colors that match my logo. So that's pretty fun. Here's, here's my logo, so you can see. So it like matches my logo. But maybe that's how I can incorporate like just the glazed ones into body mask. And then here's a planter that I did put a drainage hole in it. So I just did half studio white and left the other half bare. So yeah, this studio vlog is going to be a little different because I'm going to show you my new like quick setup that I did with my new wheel and just throwing a couple mugs and I really like watching people throw mugs so I hope you enjoy that but there's also going to be some regular studio vlog stuff like me stamping some orders for my potty mouth shop and packing them at the end so I hope you guys like it and thank you for coming along my new journey I'm super passionate about pottery so I hope you guys don't mind me showing that too all right I'll see you at the end of the video
You made it to the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog and watching me throw and pull some mugs and I know it's a little different but it's just part of my journey at the moment so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you have any ideas of things that you want to see uh, pottery wise incorporated into the potty mouth jewelry shop let me know. And if you have any suggestions of what I should do for like the more basic pottery, if I should open a new shop or have like a Tana Makes pottery shop, just let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.